Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and cosplay as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be teaching you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank. Maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating Wicked Lady from Sailor Moon. This costume was by request from a friend of mine, Tony Ufonts, who's actually a tattoo artist here in Pinellas Park at Ink Mania. So if you are into anime, video game art, uh, comic book art, and things like that, that's what he specializes in. And he's right out here. He's a great artist. I've known him for a long time. I highly suggest. Wicked Lady is the anime costume of the day. Let's get started. To get started with Wicked Woman, we have our dress. I purchased this from the thrift store, which was awesome. It was a great find for $11.99. And the dress was perfect. All it had was some weird drapey things over the top, which we removed. And now the dress is exactly as I need it to be. It's long. It already has one split going up the side here. I'm gonna make another split going up the other side all the way to you know the upper thigh on each side and I've got this felt that I'm going to use to create a scallop neckline and I'm just going to hot glue those on once they're created to the to the top here of the dress I'm gonna first start with making these splits up each side and then once the splits are ready to go I'll be lining it with this blue material on the inside now this is just a sheet that I bought, but it was the right color, so I'm going to line the inside with this blue material. Let's get started. I try to convey in all of my videos that you should use what you have first before going out and buying anything because you wouldn't believe the things that you have in your own closet or in your own storage or if you're a crafter like me, you have stuff all over the place that you could use for costumes. So I went to Michael's today. I wanted to purchase the gemstones for the necklace and the wristbands that Wicked Woman wears. And I could not find the shape right here that I wanted. All they have is round now. And I bought these from Michaels, but probably like two years ago. So I'm going, where am I gonna get these? I'm gonna probably have to get them online. I'm gonna try and spray paint them with silver and see what that looks like. And I think it's gonna turn out great. Good enough, those are gonna work.
is our finished costume. I decided to do it a little differently because you really can't see the whole costume sitting on my table over there. So this is the Wicked Lady costume and almost entirely purchased from the thrift store or from items I already had. I bought the dress from the thrift store, all of the felt I already had. I had the gemstones already. Uh, this was a curtain that I bought from the thrift store for $1. So this was actually what I wanted to make my whole channel about. Unfortunately, everything's not always available at the thrift store, especially doing all these costumes in a year. Sometimes I end up having to buy things online. I've got a red pair of shoes down here. Now I did end up spending about $100 on this costume, but that was for everything. I didn't actually buy the shoes, I already had them, but uh, you can go online. On Etsy they have a great wig, but it's $200. If you buy it on Amazon, it's about $40, 20 to $40. There was, and so I ended up buying this wig, which was actually for a different character and making the wig into a wicked lady wig. There are cosplay online stores that make this costume and if you buy it online it's going to run you about a hundred dollars at the least and up to a hundred and eighty nine dollars just for the costume. It doesn't come with the shoes, the wig, the parasol, and all of these other things that I bought. This entire costume with everything was less than a hundred dollars, about 96 bucks. So we saved a lot doing it this way and it looks incredible. It's makeup time. Now for this look, it's gonna be mostly just regular makeups, eyeliners, things like that. I'm gonna be using my white Ben Nye cream pencil. Everything that I use is gonna be down in the description box below so that you can kind of figure out what you wanna use. You know, if you like the look and you wanna recreate it at home. I'm not a huge anime fan. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen anything anime, so don't hate me. I'm more of a Tim Burton and claymation and that sort of thing. Horror movie um, person myself. But I got this idea, like I said, from one of my friends who happens to be a tattoo artist. He's really into Sailor Moon and all of these things. Tonio Fonts, I'm gonna put his information down below. He does really great artwork. And if you're looking for a tattoo artist in the Pinellas area and you're into all of that, comic book art, um, he even does his own designs, anime, any of that stuff, I'll leave his information down below so you can check him out. So as I was looking for Sailor Moon Wicked Lady images, in some of the Wicked Lady photos it looked like she had red eyes. So I put in my red contact lenses and I started there. I don't know if she really has red eyes, but hey, she's a wicked lady and it looks more cartoony and that's what i'm going for so i'm going to be using my kat von d foundation because again it's pastier it really goes on like a paste covers everything and i really like it for that it's great for costume stuff i've got some ben nye aqua in black i made a little stencil for our moon on our forehead i just used some note cards you know like we used to have in in school we would write notes on it study study card <laughs> that's what that is got some liquid black liquid liner some regular black liner and some eyeshadows and contour stuff i actually do a lot of costumes that i never seen one episode you know i i end up doing quite a few of those things because i appreciate the art that goes into it if i like the costume i don't care if i've never seen one episode i'll do it you know and that's kind of how this costume is but I really loved creating it. Creating the costume was really fun. I actually only spent $17 creating the dress, the shawl, the neck and wrist pieces. I already had the shoes. It was a $17 costume. It's the accessories and the wig that cost so much. So it's an easy one to create from thrift store stuff. Cause I see, I mean, it's, it's just easy. I see that kind of stuff in thrift stores all the time. It's a plain black dress with spaghetti straps, a red top. You could even, if you know how to sew, you could get just a sheer curtain, red curtain, which I see all the time at thrift stores and use that for the material. I paid $1 for that. So you can make the shirt out of like a piece of sheer material. You know, it's just, it's so versatile and the items needed to create it are pretty universal. I mean, 
people give that stuff away to the thrift store all the time. Simple black dress, spaghetti straps that slid up the side. I mean, I got that dress for 12 bucks and I created a really awesome costume with it. Now, the wig that I saw for Wicked Woman online had really bad reviews. And there was a woman on there that even gave it good reviews. This is on Amazon, I believe. She gave it a great review, but she put she posted a picture of the thing and it looked horrible. Sorry if that lady's out there watching, but it, it was really bad. So I got this one for $32. It was for a different character entirely, but I liked the color of it. It was not so like neon pink. It's more of a muted pink and it's, it's just really pretty. The quality is great. It arrived the next day after I ordered it. So the timing and everything was perfect. And for $32, if you're gonna spend that much on a wig for a costume, you really want the quality to be good because I mean, that's, that's a third of your costume expense right there on the wig. So you definitely want to make sure that you've got something that you're not going to be disappointed with. Cause I mean, a wig like that, that's so long and so pink and so just out there, I'm likely not going to be using that for any other costumes more than likely. Unless it's another anime character, which that's that's not out of the question. I might do another anime character. I don't even know. But that's the only reason I would wear that wig again, more than likely. Or it would probably be good for a mermaid. You know, you don't have to put the clips on the side. You can just leave it long and, and wear it and be a mermaid. That'd be a good mermaid wig. So, girlfriend has a really thin brow. No problem. So do I. <laughs> So I'm just gonna darken my brows and not try to go real thick with them. And you know, I like to start from the top and work my way down. I'm gonna make them a little bit longer though, a little more cartoony. If you would like to see me do a costume or you have an idea that you want me to do and you can't quite figure it out, just leave it in the comments down below. I'll definitely consider it. Like I, I always pick my costumes like the year before, but through the year they always change. Somebody asked me to do a zombie last year and that wasn't in the cards at all, but I went ahead and did one because he, he wanted to see it done. I'm not gonna not consider it. You know, if you, if you have a, a suggestion, I definitely will consider it. <laughs> Sometimes it takes until the next year just because I have to think about how I'm gonna do it. You know, so don't think I'm disregarding it. I write everything down and I definitely do them eventually. <laughs> My friend Juan, gave me this idea last year around the end of the year when I was asking people for ideas. So here it is mid-year and I'm finally doing it. And I do really try to get most of my stuff from the thrift store. That's what this channel is about. It's about saving you some money and making awesome costumes. Like I said, I can't always find everything at the thrift store. So I end up having to buy quite a bit, but I still try to keep it frugal, you know? <laughs> I myself don't have a lot of money to spend on this stuff. I gotta really try and, you know, tighten up and look for more economic options sometimes. A lot of money goes into it when you're doing it all the time. I've done my eyebrows. I probably should have done my little moon first. It doesn't really matter, I guess. You know, I put my moon like kind of down here. And I'm just gonna do that with my Ben Nye in licorice black. This is a Ben Nye Aqua. If you have not been watching my videos, these are uh, water activated. So you're just gonna take a little water onto your sponge, a little bit. You want it damp, not soaking wet, because then it'll be dripping all over your face. And then you're just going to rub it in here, get a little on your sponge. And since I made a stencil, it should be a nice clean and crisp little moon here. It usually works pretty good, but I got it. It's a little long, so I'm gonna trim it down a bit. I think I was stretching on my face or something, and that's why it turned out that way. That's okay, we're gonna fix it. This is just a regular black pencil. I actually really love it. It's L'Oreal, it's, um, it's just a fat black pencil, and it works really well. I actually think I like it better than like the thin black pencil. I use the thin one for my eyebrows, but if I'm doing like my waterline or something, I'll use this. 
because it shows up really good. Now I'm gonna get a little of this Kat Von D just to touch up. You don't wanna stretch your skin when you're making a something with a stencil because it'll turn out a little wonky. I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, for my eyes, I took inspiration from, I don't know if you've ever seen her, but the human Barbie doll. If you've not seen her, she had like $97,000 worth of surgeries done to look like a real life Barbie doll. And I feel like she looks very anime. That's kind of how I'm gonna do my makeup is how she does her makeup. And it's kind of similar to how we did our makeup when we made our eyes bigger for like the Snow White Witch. It's similar to that effect. So I'm gonna be taking a darker color. We'll be bold and we'll go with this dark color here on the edge of Reality Palette from Kat Von D. It's kind of a shimmery black. You can get that from Walgreens or anywhere. CVS, uh, shimmer black. And we're just gonna go in our crease with that. Kind of out almost like we're gonna do a wing. We are gonna do a winged liner with this, by the way, but. And on the lid, we're gonna be doing like a, a lighter color. Um, probably this like peach color. So a light peach or white or whatever you wanna use. Silver would work. Whatever you've got. Now I've got my lighter color, I'm gonna go in just right here on the lid and probably up here on the brow line as well. Just gonna take it all the way around. This is a really good palette. I actually do really like this palette. I paid a lot for it, but it was worth it because I use it quite a bit. I am gonna touch up the black because I've kind of gone over it a little more than I wanted to. Now I've got my black. I'm gonna be doing a cat eye with that. I am gonna be dramatic with this cat eye because it's an anime character, you know? Yes, I'm giving it. The next thing I'm gonna do before I do my liner underneath, I'm going to wipe my waterline with this Ben Nye Cream Pencil. And it is so awesome. It shows up so great. We're just gonna go right underneath. Eventually I'm gonna get a better setup <laughs> if this whole uh, YouTube thing works out. <laughs> I'll get a better setup so I can actually be doing the makeup like right in front of me. But looking into the little GoPro screen, it's kind of hard. So, but I'm showing you what I'm doing here. I've actually got big ideas that hopefully I can make happen in the next couple of years here. But I don't want to jinx myself, so. Every year I want to push myself to do something more. All right, that looks good so far. Wait till we put the black underneath. It's gonna really pop. Now, I think I'm gonna do it with my liquid liner actually starting from the middle. We will be putting eyelashes on. I probably won't be doing it on camera. <laughs> you know what I do love in anime? Anytime I've like watched anything anime, it always looks like their eyes are like welling up with tears. Like their eyes are kind of jittery and shiny and that's kind of cool. I wish I could make that happen. This is gonna look pretty awesome. Thanks to the human Barbie. <laughs> I wanna say the human Barbie's name is like Anastasia something, and I believe she's Russian. There's two of them, and I think they're both from Russia. I'm sure there's more than two now, but when I was looking it up, I mean, <laughs> I found like the main two, and they're from Russia. I'm gonna put on some mascara. Then we're gonna do a little bit of contour. Not my friend, you know, but 
I'm trying to be a very thin Asian girl. And I'm not thin and I'm not Asian. So <laughs> they've got tiny noses too. We'll do a bit of contouring. And here's my contour palette. I'm just gonna do the best I can. Uh, going with a brown. Kind of a lighter, lighter brown or beige. Like I said, this is not my forte, so. I'm thinking maybe I should go dark. I can't even see that. That's really weird. I'll go a little darker. <laughs> oh no, it's so dark. A real light color down the center. And I'm gonna try and blend this craziness out. It's not bad, not bad. The rest of my contour is gonna be with a powder. I'm just gonna, it's a, like the same color, but it's a powder. I'm just gonna go up under my chin a little bit, kind of shape my face. I tend to like be better at that. The powders to the rescue. You see how it kind of, uh, they've got really pointed, like, their face is shaped very pointed, um, pointed chin, you know. Think Madonna. <laughs> 2023 Madonna. I don't know about blush. We'll see. And of course, I'm going to do my, <laughs> my lashes. I also have really thin necks. Their neck is like... Ooh. Maybe I'll try and contour a little bit of my neck out too. What do I have on my chin? This is so crazy. I've got like a water spot on my chin. It's so weird. You see it? It's like... Like I had water on my chin or something. It's got like a water spot. That's really strange. Huh. Nobody needs to know about that. Nobody needs to know. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna just use my foundation here through the middle. I think I am gonna do a little bit of a pink blush right up under the eyes. You know where they always look like they're crying? They do. They always kind of look like they're tearing up. So I'm going to do just a pinky blush right underneath. Yeah, it's right up under here. Oh my goodness, I look like a different person. That's cool. I've never done an anime character before, so I got to say, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this is looking. Just a little pinky blush, and then we're going to do our lipstick. I just looked at the pictures. Red lips it is. That makes sense. I just got a Ben Nye cream. I still don't have any red lipstick right here because I thought you had a, more of a natural lip. So what you could do, and if you want, if you want it to really stay, I've been using the Give. It's the new lip line from uh, Gwen Stefani. It's uh, all day wear. It stays on pretty good. If you eat something, you know, or if you're gonna be drinking all day or something like that, you're gonna have to reapply. You know just like anything but they really haven't mastered the color stay quite yet all right i'm gonna put my eyelashes on i'm gonna go get dressed and i'll see you soon all dressed up and ready for photos Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed today's look. I don't think I did too bad for someone who doesn't really watch anime, but just a couple things. I added some face glitter. I think she's whimsical and deserves it. So uh, for this for this character, to give that sort of sparkling look, I did add a bit of face glitter there at the end. This wig is awesome. 
it was a little hard to get on the weight it, it weighs about 20 pounds I mean when I got it in the mail I was like holy crap because it doesn't feel like a wig in there it feels like you know a book or something it's pretty heavy so keep that in mind it is not uncomfortable to wear though I've been wearing it I haven't had a problem with it trying to slide off or anything it is a good decent quality wig I'll probably be wearing it again for something I don't know yet but anyway this one goes out to you Tonio Fonts over at Ink Mania in Pinellas Park hit him up if you want a tattoo and please remember to like subscribe share the video comment down below if you loved this look or if there's anything you want to see me do I may not do it right away but I guarantee you I will write it down and I if it's something that I think I can do I will definitely try it that does it for today's episode I'll see you next time